The Albanese Labor government recognises the deep and systemic challenges around homelessness throughout our nation, and we are serious about our plan to deal with homelessness and housing insecurity, which is a growing crisis in this nation. Few things can be as daunting as a lack of certainty around where you'll sleep at night. We all know that homelessness takes many different forms. It can be sleeping rough, couch surfing, living in your car, or bouncing between temporary accommodation and mates' places. We also know that there are many other challenges around housing, including affordability, quality, and overcrowding, which is a particular problem in the Northern Territory. But our federal government is committed to engaging across the sector, and that's why we've elevated the housing and homelessness portfolio back in the Cabinet. I know how serious a problem homelessness is from my time as the NT CEO of St Vincent de Paul Society. And I'm still a volunteer with Vinnie's and recently took part in the CEO sleep out. The profoundly negative impacts of homelessness are obvious. It robs far too many people in our communities of the stability and security needed to flourish and to thrive. We can't let these issues fester unaddressed. We can't allow more vulnerable people in our community to fall through the cracks. And we see certain groups overrepresented far too often, whether it's people fleeing domestic violence, young people, people with disabilities or mental health issues, veterans, the elderly, or people who straddle several of these cohorts. As a Territorian, I also welcome the 200 million committed to housing works in remote Aboriginal communities. And knowing the serious issues in those communities, this will make a real difference. The problems around quality of housing in remote communities means that First Nations people are often living in very overcrowded conditions with up to 20 people living in a three bedroom house. And there are then the knock on problems with health and sanitation and disruption to kids sleep and schooling, those social determinants of health. It also places a bigger reliance on the public housing in Darwin, which is already strained. In the NT, we have wonderful organisations working in this space, such as Yili Yurung Housing. And I want to acknowledge the board of Yili, uh, and in particular, the CEO, Leanne Caden. Yili manage 246 properties and have 40 staff helping to provide housing meaning more families have certainty around where they live and sleep. And that includes temporary accommodation for those visiting from the communities. So they can be safe when they visit town for a number of reasons. I'm also very committed to veterans and our first responders that face housing insecurity from time to time. More than housing insecurity, they can experience homelessness. I think some of the uh, evidence given in the Royal Commission into Veteran Defence Suicide so far has shown that. On separation from the ADF, and I've been there, as you have, Mr Deputy Speaker, you can be a bit lost sometimes. I understand that. So I was very proud to secure three million for a veterans and first responders supported housing hub in my electorate of Darwin. The Scott Palmer Services Centre, named for Commando Scott Palmer, the only Territorian killed in Afghanistan, will be focused on providing services, accommodation obviously, family support and recreation facilities for those who are homeless or at risk of becoming homeless. The primary goal is to assist our veterans and our first responders to secure permanent accommodation in social housing or in the private rental market. Now, as I said, Mr Deputy Speaker, I pushed very hard for the Royal Commission because I knew that there were systemic problems in the way we supported our uh, men and women in uniform. The same goes for first responders. And I think the evidence has pointed to a need for this supported accommodation with case management and referrals to DVA and organisations such as Open Arms, Health Professionals and Employment Services. A supported accommodation facility will save lives. Uh, I commend the member for McNamara for bringing forward this motion and I know that this government is going to get on with helping our homelessness situation.